This is uh, taken from St. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are ambassadors for Christ, God making his appeal through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin who knew no sin so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Working together with him, then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, in an acceptable time I listened to you, and in a day of salvation I have helped you. Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. We heard this same reading from St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians on Ash Wednesday. The Lenten journey begins each year with the touch of ash upon our head. In so doing, we acknowledge our sinfulness and our need for true repentance and for reconciliation with our God. A journey takes us from one place to another. We begin a journey with the understanding that there is a destination to which we are headed. For people of faith, Life is a journey, a journey of faith that is leading us home to a life that is eternal. We understand ourselves as, well, as pilgrims, journeying ever onward to our true homeland. And that true homeland is the reality of heaven and life lived forever with God. Every day of our lives, we, we come closer to that day when we will leave this present existence and we will enter the life that is eternal. Each day that passes brings us one step closer to that day when our souls will be released from our corruptible body. Ash Wednesday reminds us of this in a very concrete manner. We feel the touch of ash upon our heads. And it is good for us to, to embrace a more sober attitude during this time. It is right for us during the season of Lent to meditate upon this undeniable truth. Each day brings us closer and closer to our final day on this earth. And this journey of faith that is our life is given us to prepare ourselves for that life that is to come. When we received the ashes on Ash Wednesday, we were given two very important understandings. One is that Indeed, we are dust, and our bodies will return to the dust. The other is that we are called to live this life in the radiant truth of Christ's resurrection from the dead. 
a resurrection to which we are all called. This body will return to the dust, but will not remain in the dust. We are not children of the ashes. We are children of the resurrection. The journey of Lent begins with ashes, and it ends in the glorious resurrection of Jesus Christ. Our Lenten journey each year takes us into the desert with Christ. And we need to make this journey. We need to make this journey in deepest faith, knowing that every one of us is in need of repentance and true reconciliation with our God. Every one of us is in need of a deep internal cleansing, one that prepares us to enter into that most holy season of Easter resurrection with a deeper understanding of who we really are, redeemed and reconciled children of God in and through Jesus Christ. We're called to enter the desert with Christ that we might receive his healing touch, that we might heed his call for true repentance and reconciliation with God. We're called into the desert that we might experience his unending mercy and his unconditional love that we might with full mind and with full heart turn back to God. In this holy season of Lent, may we recommit ourselves to the blessed work that Christ calls us to do on this earth, and what is that work? It is to embrace the poor and the suffering. It is to bring healing in whatever way we are able to those who are most in need of healing. It is to give thanks to God for all the abundant blessings that we have received in this life. And our work is to bring the Christ light into this very, very dark, very sad and very wounded world. May Mary be with us as we journey through this holy season of Lent. She, more than any other, will help us to, to enter into the great mystery of our salvation. She, more than any other, will teach us to walk the pathways of this life in deepest faith, with certain hope, and with abiding love, knowing that each day of this life brings us closer and closer to the portals of heaven. With Mary, may we enter the desert. May we enter the desert there to meet her son, so that in him, who is the source of our peace and our reconciliation, so that with him we might rise from the ashes and live 
each and every day of this life as children of the resurrection. Mary, walk with us on our Lenten journey. Mary, our mother of perpetual help, pray for us.